Arion filament. Does it suck? Let's find out today. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Like I said, today we're gonna to talk about Arion filament. Well, at least the role I got. And there has been a lot of uh, bad press around Arion filament. A lot of people with diameter issues and printing issues and clogging. And uh, you know what? All those are valid complaints. Recently, the crew up at First Layer in Canada did a video and they checked out a, a couple different spools. And I tell you what, they got really great results. But people in the comments seem to think that maybe they just got the filament for free and they were saying things and, and um, that the filament wasn't as good as they found, etc. So what I thought I'd do is I'd buy a roll of rainbow filament uh, straight from Amazon. I've never been in contact with Arion at all. Uh, they've not sent me anything. They've not contacted me to give me anything. I know my wife really wanted a rainbow castle and we'll get to that later. So what I did was I jumped on Amazon. I bought a roll of uh, rainbow PLA from Arion and I started doing some test prints. Um, the first thing I did is a temperature tower. Um, and I got pretty good results all the way across the board. I feel like 200 to 210 was probably the best. Um, and I'll show all these close up. Check out all my social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you'll see all these really close up because I'll take some pictures and throw them on there. The next thing I did was I printed one of the Edutech calibration cubes. Um, this was actually made from, from Tyler of C3D. And he uh, surprised me, he just said, hey, check out this file. So I checked it out and it's actually a calibration cube and I'll take a close up picture and put it on uh, social media as well. On one side it has my glasses, uh, the, the little trademark or logo, and the other sides um, have the XYZs. So I did that and I printed the calibration cube. Um, then I went on to a vase, just a simple vase, and this thing came out pretty good. Um, by pretty good, I mean really good. You can see it shines, it shimmers. Beginning of my roll had a lot of yellow, and I had a couple different color yellows in there. Um, but that's why everything looks yellow, because I just started at the beginning of the roll and let it fly. I should say that all of these were printed right here on this Ender 3. Um, no special nozzle, no special hot end. Um, it does have direct drive, but... I don't think that matters. Um, and I printed everything at 210. Uh, it, the bed was at 60 the whole time on all of my prints as well. So I didn't go crazy with the temperature. It wasn't really high um, or anything like that. Then I printed the Aria Dragon. And I tell you what, this may be one of the best Aria Dragons that's come off this Ender 3 yet. Um, again, I have no skin in this game with Arion. They're not sending me anything. Um, but I tell you what, this Aria Dragon came off dang near perfect. Um, it, it was awesome. Last but not least, I printed this castle here. It took uh, one day, 21 hours, 26 minutes and 46 seconds or something like that. And I tell you what, aside from a couple of the small tops here, I probably should have slowed it down as I got to the top. Um, aside from that, this thing printed so good. And you can see the colors. Uh, it starts at yellow, a green, and then it kind of pops through all the colors, and then we're back at yellow at the top. So this, this roll had a lot of yellow on it, but I'm not complaining because this thing really came out so nice. Um, all the little facets and the turrets and everything, I mean, there's no indication on here of any filament issues. And I let this thing go by itself uh, for almost two days straight with no issue. So all that being said, you know what? I think um, Arion is actually listening. Now I believe, I don't know this 100% for sure, but I believe they have other people manufacture the filament for them and then they sell it under their name. And I really think that they're listening to the complaints, especially of all the early rolls, because I did see a lot of bad prints with their early rolls. But I tell you, this thing was wound nice, it printed very nice um, on, on an Ender 3. All the prints came out pretty good. I would have to say uh, just as good as some of the other filaments I have, and those filaments don't have near the complaints. So with that being said, 
I'm gonna have to go ahead and say this role right here today of Arion Filament does not suck. I would actually suggest going out to Amazon and buying a role. I know you can give it on their groups and Facebook and I think they do discounts and stuff like that sometimes. I did not want to touch any of that because I didn't want to have anyone have any reason to say that I was just saying things because I'm in bed with Arion or something like that. I would suggest jumping on, buying a roll. Uh, this rainbow filament is awesome. So it's called the Arion Rainbow PLA or Mini Rainbow PLA filament. Um, I definitely suggest it. Try it out for yourself. I know there's been a lot of bad press in the beginning, but I really think they're listening and I really think that they're having their manufacturers tighten up the process so they get a better product. With all these tests I did, um, and that being said, definitely check it out. Uh, if it was garbage, I would tell you it's garbage. It just, I don't think the role I got here specifically and the roles that Richard at, and crew at the first layer got, and I've heard other people now saying it's printing great for them. Um, I don't think all of that's a fluke. I really do think they're listening. So uh, check it out, grab a roll for yourself, and, and why not? If you do it on Amazon and it sucks, I think you can return it to Amazon. Not that I'm saying you should do that, but uh, at least if you're really worried about it, that's an option. I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button down here. Click the like button if you like the video and that little bell right over here if you wanna see more when get notifications when the videos come out. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, this stuff doesn't suck.